Uh, my favourite would have to be the T20 World Cup here in Australia. Um, it had some highs and lows, <laughs> and that's probably why it's my favourite, because it started off not quite how as we would yeah. envisage. <laughs> um, and we, we, we were probably yeah, a couple overs away from being knocked out within two round games. Yeah. Um, and then it, we made a bit of a, a switch in our mindset, because um, we probably had gotten a little bit, I don't know if nervous is the right word, but we, we, we were being a bit timid and probably weren't playing as well as we could have on the big stage with the Home World Cup. There was, yeah. you know, a bit of... Understandably. Yeah, there was just a little bit more outside noise and whatnot, and we probably got a little bit caught up in that. Um, so I guess to be able to turn that around and flip the switch um, and then play some of our best cricket, play pretty much our best game of cricket in the World Cup final in front of 86,000 people like that, that's a pretty amazing thing and certainly something I'll never forget. So, you know, the fact that we went through those lows at the start of it, I think made it even better at the end. Yeah, that'd be, probably be my, my favourite. How yep. about you? I would say 2015 ODI World Cup, same, culminated in a MCG final. I wasn't even playing, but yeah, I was 21, 22, I was running the drinks for most of the tournament, but just the the belief in the team um, really fostered a real confidence in the team that we were the best team. And I think that carried over into the way we played. We were fearless. Uh, we took on the big moments. We didn't take a step back.